Hi everyone, welcome to another video on how to build a CI CD pipeline for dockerized microservices and service function in AWS. In this video, we'll deploy a private Docker registry with Sonata Nexus Repository Manager OSS and we will expose a secure connection through HTTPS endpoint using a free SSL certificate with AWS Certificate Manager service. So the Nexus Repository Manager will be deployed to a dedicated EC2 instance on a private subnet sitting behind a load balancer. Then a new DNS record will be created in root 53 pointing to the Elastic Load Balancer domain name. Finally, Nexus will be configured to expose a private hosted Docker registry to manage our Docker images built with Jenkins. So similar to the Jenkins cluster component, we'll be using Baker to make an XS AMI. Then Terraform will be used to create the private EC2 instance from the back of the AMI. So to get started, we'll create our Nexus AMI with Baker. So for the Baker part, I have written the following template. It will use the official Amazon Linux AMI and a shell script to provision the temporary instance. The script will install the Nexus Repository Manager OSS version based on the official documentation that you can find on the following link that which I will be posting with the video resources. So once Nexus is installed, we'll be waiting for the service to be up and running using the slip command. Then we'll be using the Nexus scripting API to post a Groovy script to create a private hosted Docker registry on port 5000. The request payload is in a JSON format. It contains a content attribute with a Groovy script that will be executed on the Nexus instance. The script is straightforward. It creates a Docker registry called a demo on port 5000. So you can customize your Nexus instance with this kind of Groovy scripts to simplify provisioning complex tasks and the repository manager such as creating users, managing permissions and rules, etc. You can find more examples on how to use the scripting API on the REST and integration API section on the official Sonata type documentation. So now our Baker template file is defined we can bake our Nexus AMI. So on the terminal, type baker build and give it as a parameter our template file. So now baker will create a temporary instance and provision it using the shell script. And finally, it will create and bake a new AMI for Nexus. So it might take a few seconds for baker to finish all the process, all the creation process. So by now, Baker should be finished creating the AMI for our Nexus. So if we head back to the AWS Management Console and navigate to the Images section, our Nexus AMI should be created. So now we can use Terraform to create the Nexus instance. So for Terraform, once again, I divided the Nexus infrastructure to multiple components. Each component has its own template file. So the nexus.tf file, as its name indicates, is responsible for creating the EC2 instance based on the nexus AMI we built earlier with Baker. Here I have defined two load balancers in front of the EC2 instance, one for the nexus dashboard and the second one for the docker registry endpoint. Finally, we'll create two records in root 53 for each load balancer to have a friendly URL to access both the Nexus dashboard and the Docker private registry. So now our templates file are defined, we can jump back to the terminal and fire Terraform plain command. So Terraform plain command will show you indeed the AWS resources that we want to create. Now we need to apply these changes by typing Terraform apply and give it as a parameter the variables file. And confirm these changes by, by 
I type in yes. So now Terraform will create the next stack component on our AWS account. So now Terraform has created the needed resources. If we go back to the AWS Management Console and navigate to the EC2 dashboard, we should see that our Nexus instance has been created. Also, Terraform will display in the output section links to access both the Nexus dashboard and the Docker private registry. So we can test it out by pointing our browser to the Nexus dashboard URL and hopefully we should see the Nexus repository manager interface. So it works, so now we need to authenticate to our Nexus repository using our administration account. So if we click on settings, then on repositories, our Docker private registry should be created. So now we can push and pull Docker images to this repository as follow. So once again on the terminal, I will open a new tab and I will take as an example the Alpine image. So I will need to pull it first from Docker Hub. Then I need to tag this image with our private Docker registry URL using the Docker tag command. Then we need to log in to our secure registry as follows. So we will use docker login command and we will give it as a parameter the link to our registry. So I need to enter my admin account credential. So now we can push our image to our private docker registry with docker push command. So now if I go back to the Nexus repository our Docker image should be stored. So if I click on the demo repository and I click on demo, so as you can see, our Alpine image with the latest tag has been stored to our private Docker registry. So this is guys how you can build your own private Docker registry using Nexus Repository Manager OS version from scratch in AWS. So on the next video, We'll build our Docker Swarm cluster. So till then, have a great day.